to show you today everything that we came here to to, to show um, at Expo 2020, um, the, the culture and everything. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer them. So if you don't know anything about Haiti, I'm going to start and tell you that we are the first black nation that abolished slavery. So we are the, the, the leaders of the, 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 the freedom movement and um, and liberty. So right, right now, Haiti has a population of 11.4 million and the, um, their age between 18 and, and 30, 35 years old. So we have a young population. So we are encouraging tourism and business in Haiti. Um, and we're gonna continue and talk about the Haitian culture and what we brought here and showcase what, what our artisans do in, in, in Haiti. Um, okay, perfect. Just to let you know that people are watching live, Sophie, so we... Okay, perfect. So we're excited to learn what Haiti has to offer. Yeah. So what can we check out first? So first I wanted to check um, to let you see the Haitian art that we brought here. For example, this is his metal art. Um, this is made out of oil barrel. So the artisan take the oil barrel, they cut them and they flatten them and they use their tools to produce these beautiful bowls. And if you come around here, um, we have some decoration. For example, this is a mirror that has the shape of the Haitian. Okay. Asian, Asian. And this is also made out of steel? Yes, it is made out of steel. And they take Beautiful. them and they, yeah. And if you didn't know anything about Haiti, we are here located right there. You see us in the Caribbean Sea and in between the North and Atlantic Okay, Asia. so just right here. Just right here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, yeah. hi Richard, watching in Dubai. Make sure you come down to Expo. Okay, so we have more examples of these steel Still, or art. You can see on the wall, we have them here. If you can come around here, we have the, for example, this is a typical Haitian um, voodoo piece that's like a heart of um, Haitian voodoo um, from El Zuli. This is like a god of, uh, of voodoo. So not all of them represent that. Um, some of them are just for other purposes, for, for example, that one. But we also have other things that represent voodoo that I can show you around, like these um, Haitian um, Handmade bottles oh, made wow, out of sequins. Yeah, gorgeous. They're colorful. They're 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 usually used um, in a place of worship um, in the voodoo culture. So these take approximately three days for the for the. Let's get a little bit closer to them. Yeah, they are very colorful, just like our pavilion. We like and Haiti is very vibrant. That our culture, our food, everything is. Okay. The people, yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So we have Cecilia that's loving the pictures on the walls. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, to, to con I'm continuing on the wall. I'll show you some of the Haitian paintings. In Haiti, we have also a lot of Haitian painters. You probably know Jean Michel Basquiat, who's part Haitian and part oh, American. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's a very famous um, painter that uses like. Um, a lot of colors and voodoo symbols in, in his painting also for example his last painting for 40 for 42 million dollar but we don't have that here in the pavilion just some example of um, some haitian street artists that painted this beautiful painting and i'll show you an example of a symbol that we have in haiti that is the neck maron over there on this side. It's a symbol of, of freedom for us, this Nagma one that represents okay, freedom. Okay, so this painting is a symbol of freedom. Yes. It's Take a look, Nekma. everybody. <laughs> yeah, and the, the um, shell is a front shell, and it makes a really loud noise, and it's usually uh, um, used to tell people to come around and gather. So it's a really loud like noise, and wherever you are, you hear it, and you know, just come around and gather. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Interesting fact. <laughs> So we have Cecilia that said the bottle colors are beautiful. Glad that you're appreciating them, Cecilia. <laughs> and on to more artwork. So is this maybe what it looks like in Haiti? Yes, it is definitely. Day to day life? Yes. So this is a typical Haitian market. As you can see here, you see the, the merchants that are selling fruits and vegetables. Every day they come. Hey, uh, Haitians like to live um, day by day. So every day they would go and buy whatever they need for the day to make their food. So you can see here, we have fruits, we have vegetables, uh, people that are selling slushies, and it's just typical Haitian market. Okay, <laughs> so one of our viewers is not everybody. Okay, so moving on. Moving on to, uh, like I told you in the market, we produce a lot of things in Haiti. We, that would be the uh, agriculture is our main source of income. So we have a lot of bananas, we have mangoes, we have over 200 varieties of mangoes in Haiti. Did you we catch have... that everybody? Can you imagine that there's over 200 types of mango? Exactly. Do they taste different? Or they, they all taste different because we have like small mangoes, big mangoes. It really depends on the category of mango. <laughs> they oh, do wow. Different. Yeah, very, very sweet. Everything is 
organic also in Haiti, so that's great. And we also produce, we are the um, uh, first, uh, we have the vetiver oil, if you don't know, it's like a aromatherapy oil, it's also used as a basin perfume, it's a very strong smell, and it's mostly to diffuse odor just for aromatherapy. And we are the produce, we are the first one in the world that produces over 70 tons of vetiver oil in, in the world, um, surpassing Indonesia, China, Brazil, and Dominican Republic in that. Okay, so, so we have a question from Nabil Sophie, and he says, what is the best month to visit Haiti? Um, I would say the best month to visit Haiti would be during uh, um, the summer because everyone is here. And but there's also it's also the raining season, but it's it's the nicest season because everything is happening at that time. And also in December would be the nicest time to visit okay. Haiti. Okay, and you have the same seasons. The summer is through. We have so, July, August. It's, it's always the same hot season. It's just there's rainy season and just and dry season. So okay. yeah, it's always hot and sunny in Haiti. <laughs> okay, good tonight. Yeah, in Haiti here, um, we are trying at the Expo 2020 to talk about more about renewable energy. Right now, we use water to produce energy, and you know Haiti is in the Caribbean. We have a lot of sun, so we we hope to use this uh, the sun and solar energy to have electricity in Haiti. So that's something that we want to to explore for business opportunity at the Expo. Okay, good to know. So. <laughs> We also have Aisha that says, I love eating bananas and mangoes. Well, if you're a big fan of mangoes, Go it is the place <laughs> yeah. to be. Okay, well, this definitely caught my eye. Yeah, this is a beautiful Haitian piece that typical from Jacmel. Jacmel is in the southern part of Haiti, and they use it usually in Carnival. So Carnival is near, and this month it's in March, actually. And they use it just to celebrate and to for the parades and just... For carnival <laughs> yeah and uh, do you visit carnival often yeah i do sometimes it's but sometimes i um it's in february so we probably don't have break to go but i uh, try okay. to go every time i can <laughs> okay so we have water water says i love this pavilion <laughs> thank amazing you, thank you. yeah we have also the cha-cha this is part of our carnival and our music if you listen to Asian music that's this house, oh, wow. you, you'll hear it. So this also uses the sequence, and inside of it, it's rocks. Just using the rocks. Nice nice. Okay, yeah. so we have a question from Khaled. So Haiti is Port-au-Prince, and we speak French and Creole in Haiti. It's the two main languages. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So can can continue here. I'll show you around the um, a beautiful island that we have here in Capetian. It's called Ila. In Haiti, we have. Um, about five small islands and well <laughs> here you can see and it's just a place where you take people to for to show about the like the tourism in Haiti and spend the day and have a nice time on the beach. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. So how many um there's different islands? There's, yeah, there's, um different small islands, about five to six small islands. Are they all habitable? Um they are but People don't really live there. It's a very. There are small islands, so there will be probably somebody that's guarding the the island, but not not people living there. Okay, amazing. <laughs> and Elena says incredible. And um, we have then also more handmade products from Haiti. The shoes. Yeah, they're made by beads and sequins. Also, it's all handmade by Haitian artisans. Also. Okay. <laughs> so what's capturing my eye now is this huge image. Uh, what is this, Sophie? This is a portrait that is in the northern part of Haiti. It's called the Citadel La Feria. And it was um, commissioned by Henry Christophe in 1805, right after we, we got our independence, to protect ourselves against like French invasion, what's possible French invasion. So it was finished in 1820 by former slaves, and this is all Haitian made. And this is the uh, world protected by UNESCO heritage. And this is uh, um, the first uh, tourist attraction that we have in Navy also, so in the in the in Capetian. Okay, so it's a very popular place very, for people to visit. Yes, it is. It's our main main attraction. I would say in Haiti. Well, everybody's loving your information, Sophie. And we have Latifa that says, "I wish I could." I wish I could visit Haiti. Yeah, we hope to see you also in Haiti. <laughs> I hope everybody learned a lot Haiti and you actually want to come and visit and learn a little bit more about our culture. Amazing, thank you so much. And this today is our 155th pavilion that we have visited. 
Wow, we're really making a lot of way along the route of exploring many, many pavilions. So thank you, Sophie, because we've now unlocked our first badge of the show. Nice. Yes, that is the Haiti Country Badge. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for having us. <laughs> and good luck with that show. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. So amazing, everybody. That is our first badge earned. <laughs>